بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله So in this video I would like to respond to a certain allegation made by Dr. Shadi Al Shadi Al Masri. Who were the greatest protectors of Islam? Was it not Nur al-Din al-Zinki? Was it not Salah al-Din Ayyubi? Was it not Muhammad al-Fatih? Was it not Irtul and 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 uh, Osman? Okay who set up the Ottoman Empire? Was it not the Mughal Empire in India? Okay. Who defended Ahl Sunnah from the Safavids of, of Persia? Both the Mughals and the Ottomans kept the Safavids in corn, at, at bay. Who knocked out the Crusaders? Who pushed the Crusaders out of uh, Spain? When the Reconquista was centuries, right? They were coming for centuries. They're knocking on the door. Who pushed them the first time? Who pushed them the second time? The answer to all of these is Ash'aris and Maturidis. Can you please show me one time when Etharis, and this is not to say that this is not a true Aqidah, show me one time. I'm not even saying Etharis, not even say Wahhabis or Salafis, Hanbalis or Etharis, one army of Hanabila that rescued the Ummah. So, one of the allegations made is that the people of the Salaf couldn't defend the Muslim lands because they were not in charge. And our brother Knowledge North already made a very, very lengthy tweet response that addressed every point. So I won't go too much into that. But one of the contested points was about the Morabitin, the Al Moravits, being Ashari. Dr. Shadi Al Masri argued that Abdullah ibn Yassin, the founder, was Ashari. We had a tweet exchange, but the tweets are now for some reason deleted. Maybe the brother checked the facts and deleted the tweets afterward, in which case we say Alhamdulillah. Nevertheless, I have a screenshot of it just for reference. Now let's look at this video from a guy that says he's an Ash'ari. Just so you guys understand the historical context and why this matter is of utmost importance. كتب الله تبارك وتعالى لها نهاية على يد رجل اسمه إيه محمد بن تومرت ذو أصل بربري أف الله عنه وسلم محمد بن تومرت صاحب المرشدة هذا الرجل تأثر إيه بالملكية وبالشافعية وبالمذهب الأشعري قال المذهب الأشعري هو المذهب الحق المذهب الآخر مذهب ذوت المرابطين قال هذا مذهب المجسمة الكفرة المرتدين دخلنا دخلنا في التكفير والآن مش قتل مذبحة مليونية مليونية اقرأوا تاريخكم كما أقول لكم طبعاً أقرأوا واقرأوا حتى تعرفوا ماذا حدث وماذا يحدث وماذا يرسم أن يحدث الآن في هذه الفترة العصيبة من حياة الأمة الحرجة جداً وبدأت المذابح يا حبيبي يا أخي يا مسلم في سلا في وهران عاصمة المرابطين ما هي؟ مراكش وجاءوا إلى العاصمة مراكش ذبحوا كل من فيها من الرجال مسلمون قائمون صائمون حفاظ كتاب الله عامة مسالمون لماذا يذبحون؟ قال لك مرتدون هذولا مرتدون على عقيدة أحمد أحمد عقيدته عقيدة تجسيمية كافرة زنديقة نحن الموحدون أبادوا الرجال من عند آخرهم وأخذوا الأطفال والنساء أسرى يؤسر المسلمون؟ مسلم يأسر مسلمة مسلم يقع في أسر مسلم مش معقول يا أخي هذا تاريخنا هذه من كباتنا هذه مصائبنا مصائب التعصب الجنون المذهب والطائفي الجنون الأيديولوجي أيديولوجيا هذا ولم يكتفوا فقط بقتل كل من في مراكش عاصمة المرابطين بل دمروا المدينة أيضا من عند آخرها لماذا؟ قالوا مدينة نجسة أول مرة سمعتوا بها المدن تنجس مدينة نجسة مدينة نجسة فدمرها الموحدون تدميرا بما فيها المساجد قال لك نجسة كان فيها مجسمة ملاحدة زنادقة So as you saw there is absolutely no doubt in anyone's mind that the Muhyiddin founded by Ibn Tumart were Ash'ari. Muhammad Ibn Tumart was a direct student of Al-Ghazali, so this point is not contested or contestable. Now let's assume Brother Shadi is right and the Al-Muravids were also Ash'ari. Then he has to answer the following questions. First one, why did Ali Ibn Yusuf Ibn Tashfin burn the books of Al-Ghazali, most notably Ihya Ulum al-Din, and threatened anyone that follows his teachings with death threats? for two dynasties that are both allegedly Ash'ari, that sounds like an extreme reaction. 
And the point here is to really underline the strong difference of aqidah between the Almoravids and the Muahidun. This was not just a minor fiqh issue of ikhtilaf or whatever. Now, Dr. Shad al Misri did answer partially in another now deleted tweet that the books were burnt on account of the Sufi heresies in Ihya al And we say Alhamdulillah and fair enough. Next question, and the most important to our whole discussion. Ibn Tumat wrote letters that were gathered by Abdul Mu'min, who assumed power after his death, into a book that is called az Mayutlab. In these letters, Ibn Tumat does many things to discredit the Murabitin, and one thing graver than the other. He first starts by referring to the Ahadith of Ashrat Sa, the conditions of the end of times, and saying that all conditions were met with the Murabitin. The second argument is when he describes the Murabitin as Juhal and Mufsidin, so ignorant and people that spread corruption in the lands. And let's just remind everyone, the al Murabit, the Murabitin, were considered a dynasty of Fuqaha. All the top leadership were all Fuqaha. Abdullah ibn Yassin, Yahya ibn Umar, Yusuf ibn Tashfin, Abu Bakr ibn Umar, etc. etc. And we'll take his own words. Quote, and know that the Mujassima and the plotters and whoever thinks of themselves to be persons of knowledge, those are the strongest against the path of Allah. So do not pay attention to what they say. This is only lies and inventions on the book of Allah and his prophet. The third argument is that he labels them as Mujassima for merely refraining from interpreting the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I quote here again from his words, and those Mujassima kuffar who, like women, cover their faces with the lisam. And just for reference, the lisam was a face veil used by the men of the Murabitin in the desert to protect themselves against difficult weather conditions like sandstorms, etc. And he uses the label of mujassima to make takfir on them, plain and simple. Again, this is his own writings, and I will put reference to it in the description, inshallah. Now, not only did they massacre every single male follower of the Murabitin, but they also destroyed the capital of the empire, Marrakesh, because he was somehow najisa, impure. And this Ibn Tumat is the same person that called himself the Mahdi, by the way. So, clearly the Murabitin, the najisa Mujassima, were not Ashari. On the other hand, the Muahidun clearly were. And this is the danger of having a broken aqidah. Now imagine you make takfir on the murabitin of Abdullah ibn Yassin, of Yusuf ibn Tashfin, who defended the honor of the Muslims in the West for a hundred years, who took down the fake religion of Burawatha that was in the Tamisna region for 300 years, who united all tribes of the Maghreb under the banner of Islam, who humiliated the Christians at the Battle of Sagrahas in 1085, during the Siege of Aledo in 1088, at the Battle of Almodovar in 1090, and more, who united the Andalus under the same banner. If it wasn't for the Almoravids, the Morabitun, the Christians would have finished the Reconquista by 1090. Alfonso VI captured Toledo in 1085 and was well on his way to finish the job himself. But these people, in the eyes of the deviant Muhammad ibn Tumart, were kuffar whose blood was halal, and therefore were completely massacred. And I have a full playlist on the Morabitun, I really recommend checking it out to understand the scale of the good they did for Islam. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.